Hi friends, welcome to my Matchbox Shrine. Today Nikki and I have done this uh, live stream. I have a quick review of it here and I thought I'd share that with you. So we have these small matchboxes. They're not very big. They're like a couple inches or an inch. I'll have to find mine to measure. Got it. So they're not very big. And I say that with a ruler in my view. Oh, found one. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just sitting here, just kind of like. Doo -doo. So they are two inches by one and a half inches. So the long way is two inches by one and a half, and they're so they're fairly small. And I'm going to do something a little different. Not quite like a, a shadow box, but I want to do a shrine. So. I got my ephemera out and I have picked these up from Seven Gypsies a while back when I was working with the uh, Canvas Court brand and I actually have barely used these and I'm starting to use them now. It was just so busy um, that I never got a chance to get around to it. So I'm going through all these kind of seeing what will fit inside those little matchboxes. I find that little Statue of Liberty, she's kind of got my attention there. And I got these little guys in the camel there, you see that with the uh, pyramid and whatnot in the background. A couple of other pieces there. I go through my little, uh, there's pieces there that are paper, yeah, that paper and pulp stuff, but I never, I don't think I pick anything uh, offhand, I don't recall. Yes, I do have something on one of them that I pick, but otherwise that was pretty much that was that so I'm cutting this up um, this is the sleeve and I want to make kind of like a I don't know like a little top to it or like a little roof or just to make it look like a little shrine and so what I do is I kind of draw an edge I was trying to make it sym symmetrical but I couldn't so I just cut one edge flipped it over cut the other edge and traced along what I did and now it's perfect easy to do that make it look like you just know what you're doing <laughs> so I'm grabbing some burlap I want some that nice sandy cream color burlap some paper there and these are just from dollar store they're not like expensive paper pads they're four bucks each pad I have a fern false fern there I glue my little roof rip up my paper and try to decide how I want this all going together here I put my burlap way in the back. I put the paper in the front. I cut out the statue, Egyptian statue. You can see it right there. And I glue that all down in layers. Now, I didn't want it to be too flat, so I do something interesting to add some depth to it. But first of all, I'm doing my outer edges. Um, I just trace. I didn't want to measure or anything, so I just use my other box to kind of guesstimate and I just trim down if they were too big or whatever and get my size in and that is a nice kind of reddish a maroon kind of color I want to pop a little bit from the sandy color in the background cream color this will pop way more it's just I want to be starting off as a desert kind of design so here we go we've got him in the background he's looking a little flat so I cut a, a matchstick glued it to the back of that paper a couple of them and then I had it raised from the back, which I really liked that dimension. And I had my little guy more flat back there. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to find, I had to grab another fern piece because I wanted some smaller pieces from the tip. And I decided to make a little bit of some decoration here. So I'm cutting up some matchsticks that I burnt, um, that I saved. I have, I was looking at pieces of tile that didn't fit in there and different things, throwing them in there. Burnt match, where do I put it? And I decided to trim it down and I do make them fit in there. So I make the fern kind of look like a little palm tree in the background, like an Egyptian, you know, they would have palm trees in Egypt. And then I put some book paper across, just a little tear, to have a little something different. And then I put that other layer of lip, you know, the paper with the matchsticks behind it. So there's my story. I put some 
antiquing cream and brown all the way around like burnt umber and then I'm just sticking that in there I kind of glued my sticks out like a little bit of a V shape and put them in there just like that my match sticks burnt one's a little shorter than the other I hot glue that in there I make a little green inch in the front but I'd actually move those because they're I want to put the camels across the bottom, the little picture of camels, and they didn't fit properly the way I wanted to. So I put that Egyptian guy in the back. And I know it's not very great vis view. It's a small project. And I end up cutting them down a little bit more because they're too big and covering up my Egyptian guy. So I had the pyramid in the background and I just kept the, the guys in the camel, a few of them. Did my antiquing cream on it and just glue them down to the bottom. I think this is where I pull out my greenery that I put in there, glue them down, and then put it back in there. Now I was going to put um, paper on it and stuff, but then I decided not to do that. I had put uh, the decoupage on top to do that and then I decided just to paint it red I want it to be more not so blendy I want it to pop so this part is what popped here so I painted a nice red really enjoyed this guy so I have some um, pearl X powder and it's like a copper and I just put that on there for some sheen on the roof part here ceiling roof part Then I use my tool stylus with a medium sized ball on it and I just dab glue, um, gl glue, sorry, gold, just all the way around on my, my steeple part or whatever that is. Looking for jewels to put on and I'm using hot glue to, to tack these down. I use the hot glue to add the, the, the top too. And I just got some really nice diamond shape on top. It, it was a bead and just fit there perfectly paint it all the way around it and then after I painted it I put like a nice layer of gold on top of that red paint in the back so it looks really cool dry that up I had so much fun with this then there I am going with that gold all the way around and it's so cute now there's so many things you can do with these little scenery things you can stick a magnet on the back and put on the fridge which I was going to do but then I was thinking I might just use them for another project like a bigger project now I hot glue some these little sea beads and I thought what am I doing I could barely see them <laughs> but guess what they look kind of cute so I kept doing it the hot glue was a I just picked up tacky glue the other day so I didn't have the tacky glue it was really low and it was mostly air coming out instead of glue so I just used a hot glue I was patient with this one I didn't use hot glue for the next one <laughs> I didn't use the uh, sea beads for the next one but I thought they were really cute and I was going for a really nice finished edge and I kept doing that all the way to both sides and then I um, dotted some gold on them I believe I put that nice blue, turquoise blue jewel in the center. See how it's coming out and just so pretty. And I really enjoyed this project. It was so fun. They were so small. And I, I'm going to be searching for little small items now in the stores or in yard sales just to do this project again. Um, these little papers were really cute. But to do something with a little small figurine in there would be absolutely the best thing. So I think I disappear for a second here. There we go. I found my jewels. Um, I know what I was looking for. I was looking for a camel. I had a little camel, but I used it on another project, and I was like, oh yeah. And I was thinking about pulling it off, but I'm like, no, I'll leave it. Now I'm working on my next one. Yay! So I cut it out, get it all ready. It's my Statue of Liberty. Put it in the background. <laughs> use my Mod Podge get down love it I put um, other paper getting ready so what I did around the edges of that was um, I'm doing that stick thing again 
On the edges of it, I put book paper around my edges. So that's what I'm doing right now instead of um, scrap paper. I did it all the way around. Dry it up, just trim it up, there we go. So I had a little piece of a really neat um, money piece or something like that and I just put it in there as a partial. I did my antique and cream on there. I'm just taking these little flower um, things, the insides of the flowers. I do some gesso on them and I add some gold and I just stick them in behind the other one. I had some matchsticks behind that little money piece that I put in there. And so there's space to kind of stuff those in there. So I'm just trying to think. Now I have this silk rose but it's so stiff and I'm pulling it back with pliers. That's why I'm using pliers on silk rose. Just trying to open it up and flatten it out a bit. And I just put it at the bottom there so you can still see my Statue of Liberty. I grab a beautiful dove and I just stick it on the flower and I thought that was really cute peace and freedom type of um, theme on this guy on this one um, I put the jewel in the corner and that's the same jewels I have on the other one and oh yeah I don't know what I did with my dove I probably gessoed it so it wasn't so plastic looking <laughs> and left it the gesso white um, then I'm designing my my top. I didn't know what to do, so what I did with this one is I just did a pointed top. Um, I wanted it to be totally different from the other one. It could be like an apartment, uh, not apartment, but a, a skyscraper top or whatever. You can use your imagination. I just thought that was would work. I rolled some script on there. I had painted the gesso, and now I got the cream, antique and cream in that romber. And drying that up. I have this frame, and I throw some gesso on it. And then I throw some gold on it. And that just goes right in front of my Statue of Liberty. Before I put that down, I added a little greenery on my steepo top, whatever you want to call it. I cut down a stick to put in the corner because it's just floating there. It was just glued to the top and I put that down in there and that kind of holds my um, frame up so it doesn't fall fall apart. And then I just, I am putting script on my edges because I just gessoed them white. And did the same for the top. I also add the antique and cream. I put the pearls this time on the side. There was no way I was going to do sea beads again. <laughs> I felt like the sea beads took too long. I put a couple of uh, pearls in there, really small ones I wanted to, to have in that piece. And that was what I did. So I'm going to show you guys a picture of how they turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a very hard project to see, but I hope you enjoyed it anyhow. Thanks for watching everyone.